Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk a little bit more about the black vultures. We're going to move on to categories. We're going to talk about the vulture category now. Uh, so we've talked about the owls, we've talked about the hawks, we've talked about the falcons, the kites now. Now we're going to move on. We don't have any more kites. We're going to talk about the vultures now. And so the first vulture we're going to talk about is the black vulture, which I'm tossing some food down under the ground for him. Um, and so the black vulture is who we're going to start off talking about first. And I've got a little bit of a puzzle for him to figure out today. So today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, I've got our black vulture out here in the breezeway and we're going to do a little bit of enrichment with him. So I've got this little puzzle feeder and what he's basically got to do is he's got to figure out how to get the food from each of those levels down to the bottom where he can easily access it and so he's got to pull out those blue little uh, trays to get the food to drop down level by level so we'll see if he can figure it out now black vultures are common all over around here in alabama uh, they're more of a southeastern species they don't go very far up north or out west whereas the turkey vultures are found all over the u.s black vultures are more of a southeastern species they both do the same job which is cleaning up all those dead animals so you can see he got one of those levels out he's probably going to stick his beak through that area uh oh he's got the bottom one out now so he's gonna go right to that food if he'll come around this side the opening is actually over here uh so we'll see if he comes around on this side uh but these birds vultures are made for eating dead animals they've got that long beak you know all raptors have that sharply hooked beak which vultures still have uh, but they've got a much longer beak that's perfectly made to reach way up inside of dead animals. And so he's got those two out. Now he's going to go for this uh, second level that he hasn't gotten out yet. Uh, he's going to pull that one out probably here right now. Uh, but they've got that long beak, which is perfectly made to reach way up inside of dead animals so that they don't have to put their whole entire body inside of them. They've got a mostly featherless head. He's still got little short feathers up there, kind of really stiff. So now he's got all the levels out. Uh, really stiff feathers up there. And because he doesn't have really many feathers up there, very short, very stiff feathers, uh, that helps keep him from getting covered in blood and guts and germs and everything. So he stays relatively clean. There's nothing for the blood and guts and germs and everything to get stuck to. These aren't dirty birds. They're actually very clean birds. They do a great job for our environment. Lots of people call these birds buzzards. That's actually incorrect. The word buzzard means hawk, uh, specifically buteo hawks. And so all the hawks that we've talked about are in the buteo family, uh, basically broad-winged hawks, the hawks that have really broad wings, not the species, uh, but hawks that have broad wings, the buteos. Uh, the other category of hawks is the occipiters, which would be Sharpton hawks, Cooper's hawks, and they have more falcon-like features uh, they're made for hunting birds, really. Uh, but the ones that we've talked about were in the Buteo family, and those are buzzards. But vultures are only vultures. And this, like I said, this is our black vulture. His name is Melvin. Uh, I really don't even know if there's a reason for that, but it kind of seems to fit him. So Melvin, the black vulture. You can see that uh, those feathers go about halfway down his neck. If you were to look at vultures over in like Africa, uh, they've got even less feathers on their neck because they're having to reach their head way up inside of dead giraffes or rhinos or elephants, whatever it might be. They've got a lot bigger animals over there that they're reaching their head up inside of. And so they've got even less feathers on their head and on their neck. The ones here in the US, the black vulture and the turkey vulture, really about halfway down their neck is uh featherless and then it starts having feathers again now vultures are a concern in other parts of the world uh india africa uh, other parts of the world the pesticides and chemicals and stuff are really and lead um are really hurting the vulture populations as they eat those dead animals that have maybe died of some kind of poison or lead whatever it might be uh, that's getting into their bodies and it's killing thousands of these vultures um and so we really want everyone to do their part. Stop using that lead if you're shooting. Um, stop using harmful pesticides and all that stuff. 
Uh, and so you can really help these raptor species by not doing all of that because of course those chemicals run up the food chain. And so as these birds are eating those dead animals, it's getting into their bodies. And really that's quite impressive because vultures have such a strong stomach that very few diseases can actually harm them. Things that make us sick possibly even kill us. Uh, these vultures can eat it, their stomach will break it up and digest it, and so what comes out of them is actually cleaner than what goes in them. And so the fact that these pesticides are killing them means that it's really bad stuff. And so we encourage people to use those safe pesticides or whatever it might be to make sure that you're not hurting these vultures in any way. He's actually still got one little mouse in there. Uh, he hasn't quite figured out how to get it out yet. These birds, we don't say they're smart. Uh, because, not because they're not, but just that's anthropomorphic. So what's your definition of smart? Is your definition of smart coming to me for food? If that's the case, then all these birds are smart. But vultures show problem-solving capabilities. And so we give them these enrichment. We give all of our birds some enrichment. Uh, but these vultures are a lot better at that enrichment than some of the other hawks. They show a lot more interest in it also than like the hawks the falcons, the owls, uh, vultures will show the interest in that problem solving stuff. So we'll see if I can come here a little bit closer and kind of show him how to get out that mouse. It might just be too far in there that he can't reach all the way in there. So there we go. Now he can get it a lot easier. You can see his face up close, mostly a lot of featherless, uh, and then pretty much black all over. Uh, and so that's the black vulture. He's gonna try and eat my shoes now because that's what vultures love to do is try and pick at your shoelaces because like I said, they're always trying to solve problems. So I guess they think that our shoes and them being tied are a problem. So that's our black vulture. Um, his name again is Melvin and he weighs in at about 2,020 grams. So they're a good bit larger than uh, lots of the other birds, a good bit heavier than lots of the other birds we've talked about. So that's a little bit about the black vulture. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching him tear apart that enrichment. Uh, now I've got to clean it for him. Um, but these birds, again, great for the environment, great to have around. Here in Alabama, we've got two kinds of vultures. The black vulture, which is what we just talked about, and then the turkey vulture, which we'll talk about more tomorrow. Uh, you can see his wingspan right there. He's gonna shake his tail a little bit. Uh, so a really big wingspan. You can kind of see that silver coloration on the tips. We'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow also, but black vultures only have the silver coloration on the tip, those outside, those first five or so feathers on the edge, whereas turkey vultures have silver coloration on the underside of their wings all the way down. So hopefully our turkey vulture will show you a little bit more of that tomorrow. Um, but our black vulture now showing off a little bit. Wanted to show you that wingspan and how to tell them apart from the turkey vultures. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully everyone's staying safe keeping clean, uh, washing your hands, doing everything you need to be, staying at home, uh, just watching and sharing these videos. Thanks for tuning in. War Eagle.